up, folks? This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Up everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're going to great night, folks. We're kicking into December tomorrow. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe, is your creation. That's a... F I'm on this program, folks. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 364, NASDAQ down 97, S&P's off two and a half. Gold, gold contract down $11.90, trading at 2055 an ounce. You get silver up 19 cents, $25.63 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 84. $76, two cents a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 16 ticks, trading 109.26. The 30 year off a full point plus two ticks at 116.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up by 767 ticks, trading at 103.535. The euro's at 108. The yen's trading at 148, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, yeah, well, we're still dealing with this ABC structure up, folks. You got a 462. That's the number. Right now, we hit 457 yesterday, 458. And I expect we're going to get it. Why? Particularly here at Tower here today, because you rejected the 453.34 here. And now you're at 454.51. But bottom line, as you can see, this is a sideways to, light, uh, to lower move today, and you're going to have a contraction of volume. That's in your spy. And we go to the NDX 100. Now, we take a look at the NDX. It's going to get interesting in the NDX because you haven't had a rejection of lower price, number one. And you have an expansion of volume. So we get 36 million shares traded. You're down two bucks, two dollars and ninety-eight cents actually. And now you're going into here. Yeah, here we go. We gapped higher. You're going into the gap. So it's going to get interesting. The top of the gap. So how we come into this close is going to be a huge deal, because the top of the gap, folks, is 386.26. Now we've hit. 385.82. Now, what a rejection would be is that number one, you know, we're going to have lighter volume because that's 67 million. But what would what would also need is that you'd need the queues to go up like another point or something. You know, uh, it's not a rejection right now. Uh, it is coming into that. It does have lighter volume, but if it basically if the price gets into it, then what will be There'll be some divergence out here because what you will have, that is one huge gap that's open. There's no two ways about that. Notes and bonds. Take a look at the note and bond market. What you have inside the note and bond market, you're pulling back 14 ticks today, inside, 17 ticks inside the 10. You get 2 million contracts traded, but guess what? That's light contract volume How compared to how we make, made, made this run. So what you're doing... Let me pull this here so you can see there's a couple of different things. Last few days, we had 3.7 million contracts. Now, that price point there is the 109.13. And right now, we're at 109.25. We go up a little bit higher, what it's going into right now, and that's still 2.9 million. So we're only at 2 million and 900,000 shot. So bottom line, you know, you got a huge amount of support right here. You're pulling back with light volume, which would make sense. You know, can't go up forever. You can't get on forever either. We go into the uh, gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold contract out here. It's going to be the same kind of setup. Gold is actually a sideways move out here today more than anything. So you got, you're down 12 bucks. You get 139,000 contracts. And you see this, man, this is crazy. Because this is the same type of deal. These these one all all on higher price. You're coming into 139 is coming into 190,000 and 198,000. Okay, so bottom line is that you're pulling back with light volume, and then we go now. This is the intriguing one to me. Well, they both the node spawns and the dollar. So the dollar is going to counter trend move 
happening. And now that this is this is that's wide price spread. So you you know you, you basically let's see what kind of retracement we made on this one. So from the lows to the highs, well, look at that. That's amazing, actually. You gotta love Fibonacci, man. This is crazy. So look at this. From the low of July to the high of September to the low of yesterday, it was exactly a 0.618. Now, the cool thing about a 0.618, folks, okay, is that a 0.618 says you don't break the highs that were generated out here two or three months ago. So we'll see where this thing wants to bounce. Let me do this another way. We'll do it this way, and then I'll put a 0.382 on the bounce and see what we get there. So a 0.382 in the bounce is saying you can do a 104, like 300. That's and that would that would make sense because this is where the this will be broke down in a monster way. That's where that huge bar is. So we'll see where that shakes out. Shopify. We got a couple tigers that want to take a look at Shopify. Oh, I know. Dow Industrials. We've got to do the Dow first. Dow Industrials, folks, finished an ABC structure up, was 35,784. You're at 35,000. 797 right now. That being said, guess what? Um, my take is that, number one, the S&Ps are going to finish this ABC structure up. If the S&Ps finish the ABC structure up, you have Microsoft that's in an ABC structure up. That tells me that the Dow Industrial is going to go for all-time highs. Now let's go to Shopify. So we take a look at Shopify, and we have a Shopify. One of the targets has this from one of these lows, which is awesome. You're at 72. Now this is an ABC structure up to 80. So, and, and the way to trade Shopify, to trade a, the way to trade equities, folks, okay, when you're in winning positions, too, particularly if they're not coming out with earnings, is, you know, you, you, you don't have to just sell it. In this case, you got an ABC structure at 80. What you can do is you put a stop in, and you're just raising that stop every day, and you almost let the market stop you out. You know, because you can see this four days ago, that was Monday. It took the B point out, took it out with volume. It's a small ABC. 80, 80 bucks is the number, man. So I'd stay right where you are. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, 361. NASDAQ's down 100. S&P's down three. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>